Hi guys, welcome back and happy spring. To celebrate the start of a new season, we are doing this fat burning Pilates routine. It's going to cover absolutely everything. So great total body workout with a little bit of cardio and all you will need is your mat and a set of light hand weights. So if you're ready to join, let's do it. Let's do this thing. So just to get everything nice and loose, I want you to give the shoulders a big roll out. First things first, just make sure we're ready to go basically. And circle the shoulders forward. Navel is pinned into the spine, so we're already starting to set the posture here. Nice long lines, shoulders down and back. Let the chin just drop forward. Slowly circle head all the way around in one direction. Being really gentle with it and circle back in the other direction. Lift chin and center, inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, find a forward fold, a little bit of softness in the knees is okay, head just hangs down there, and slowly stack back up. So thinking one centimeter at a time. Whoa, using metric, so rare. Such a rare event for me, slowly roll back up. We're just gonna keep going with these little roll ups just to make sure again that we're nice and awake. So if you're doing this first thing in the morning, perfect because this is going to be a nice energizing routine. We got a bit of cardio in it. I really like adding a bit of cardio to my Pilates. I feel like I really get, get it all. Yes, you can have it all. Slowly roll back up last one there. Here's Luna coming to say hello. Feet are going to stay hip distance apart, toes pointing forward, weight back in the heels, basic chair squat. So I want you just to sit the butt back, arms reach in line with the ears, squeeze it back up. Nice tuck of the butt. So sit it back, squeeze it up. I'm gonna show you from the side as well. So you can see my weight is back in the heels. I'm sitting nice and low there. Keeping a flat back, engaging the glutes, knees are just tracking straight forward. So nice and easy, just starting to warm up the lower body especially, opening up though through the chest and shoulders as well. There we go, how's everybody doing? Happy spring! It's not spring yet as I'm filming this, but by the time I post this, it will be. So happy spring. Spring has sprung. How are we feeling about it? Hopefully a bit warmer. It's a long winter in Madrid. All right, last one here. Good. I want you to just pulse, yeah, let's pulse it here. Navel in tight, keep squeezing the butt. You're holding cash in your butt. Ka-ching, ka-ching, so keep it tight in there. Make sure that you don't drop it. Luna's excited for spring, apparently. She's on the scene. She was just sitting outside in the sun, but it's like one of those, I mean, it's sunny, but it's cold today. So it's kind of like a, a deceptive weather day. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Hands can just come back in. We're gonna run it out. So you're gonna go out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Keeping a bend in the knees, nice and light on the feet. I have a feeling my mat is gonna be going <laughs> all over the place. I hope it stays in one spot, but um, yeah. Also, you get to hear all the jangling because of the zippers on my leggings. Why zippers? <laughs> Why? That was poor planning on my part. I did not think about the zippers jangling, but here we are. A few more here, just getting the heart rate up. Stay low, abs engaged for four, three, two, one. Good, come back to that hip distance stance. Sit low into it, I want you to pulse it at a pedal. So every time you push butt down, one heel will pop up. That's Leo shouting in the background. Disregard. He's excited about spring too. He was asleep until, basically until I started setting up to film. And then he was like, oh, great time to wake up and start 
shouting about everything. Yeah. Leo is by far the most vocal cat I've ever had. He loves to shout about things. So, there he goes. Whew. Hopefully you're starting to feel a bit of a burn in the back of the legs. Still thinking in the abs though. So still thinking navel spine. I remember shoulders are not here. They're open, chest is open. Give me four, three, two, one. We're gonna do that little run again. See if you can switch your lead leg this time. So out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Ooh. Nice and quick on the feet, shoulders down, abs engaged. I don't know if Leo's gonna come over here or if he's just gonna keep shouting in the background. Yep, sliding on my mat. Hopefully I don't face plant right now. That would not be ideal. <laughs> Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going for four, three, two, and one. There we go. Feet are back to hip distance again. Last little push here. You're gonna drop into squat, hands down by the sides, reach all the way up, heel lift at the top. So up, down. Keeping a nice straight line there. Again, knees are just tracking straight forward. Legs stay in line with the hips. So feet, knees, hips, all following that same line. Squeeze abs, squeeze butt to get that stability. Big reach. So it's a big burst. It's basically just short of a jump there. So it's kind of a plyo motion, but without the actual jump. So nice and low impact. Nice if you live in an apartment with people below you. Give me four. Three, two, and one. Good. Give it a little shake out there. I'm just gonna fix my mat that went a little crazy. See what Leo's doing. Oh, and he's got a bag of feet. Awesome. Okay. So we're gonna do a plank inchworm here. Feet are still hip distance. Back end of your mat. Walk the hands down, 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 down. Come all the way into plank. So once you're in that plank position, hands on your shoulders, I want you to step right foot, make sure heel touches down, left foot, drop the butt, lift into a squat, hands down, step back right, step back left, you're gonna walk hands in, four, three, two, one, out, four, three, two, and we're gonna repeat on the left. So you're gonna step left foot wide, heel down, right foot, drop the butt, lift the chest, Low squat, hands touch down, back left, back right, a little bit quicker now. We go four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Give me right, left, squat, down, back right, back left. In four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Flat back, straight lines left, right, squat, down, left, right, go back, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, to the right again, right, left, sit low, down, back, back. I do apologize for Leo in the background. I don't know why he chose this moment to do this. He's been a little bit of a terror this week. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know. If the change of season has gotten him all fired up or what, one more on each side here. But yeah, he's been a little bit of a terror. You guys with pets, you know how it is. Sometimes, okay. You can tell I'm re cleaning something up after this. He's clearly broken something in the background, so that's fun and wonderful. <sighs> but we're gonna press on. Okay, go four, three, two, one, that was our last one there. Stay forward in your plank, from plank, press back, downward dog, forward to plank again. Back to downward dog, forward to plank. Again, finding nice straight lines there. As you shift forward to plank, relax the shoulders, pull navel in. Give me four, three, 
three, two, last one, and we're gonna do a mountain climber with a freeze. So all that means is that we're gonna run for a three, two, hold. Always holding the third. So go ahead, join in now. It's a three, two, hold. Three, two, hold. Three, two, hold the third. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Shoulders stay over wrists, butt in line with the shoulders. Three, two, one. Knees driving in really far. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Light on the feet. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. A few more here. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Good. Hold plank. Back to downward dog. So we'll take that same little break here. Downward dog. Forward to plank. Downward dog. Forward to plank. Downward dog. Forward to plank. I'm hoping Leo quiets down. If not, I will take a quick break to go sort him out. And then we'll be back at it. Okay. Last thing here in plank, you're gonna give me 20 plank jacks. So shoulders stay over the wrist, pull navel in tight. This is not our plank jack position. Just a reminder, you gotta stay stacked there. We're gonna start in three, two, one. So feet out, in, out, in. Push the floor away from you. Neck in line with the spine. That's halfway. Here's four, three, two, one. Hold plank for four, three, two, one. Knees down. Ah, push back to a child's pose. Let the wrists and shoulders release. Hang out there for just a second. Okay, from that child's pose, just walk the hands in, lift the chest, bring the knees here, press arms back, expand across the chest. Whew. Give the wrists a little shake out here. Yeah, are we ready to go? Is it go time? If I do look like I've moved around a little bit, it's because yes, I did go deal with. Wow, I didn't even see Leo. He's in hiding now, but he had knocked a whole bag of food off of the top of the kitchen cabinets. So that's that's what's happening right now. Flip around here onto your back though. Go ahead and roll all the way down. Hopefully, I've like put that in a cabinet that to be fair, he can probably open, but hopefully he won't. <laughs> so all the way down your back, press the tailbone down, create a little hollow in the navel, feet are touching down, knees bent. Inhale, reach arms long overhead. On the exhale, lift. So we're holding in this crunch position. Chin is off the chest, tuck in. We're gonna do our hundreds here. So it's an inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Sing nice and high in Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Couple more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good, from there. I want you to stay here. You're just gonna do a little pulse and reach. So it's a little curl. You can reach for the backs of your ankles or you can reach for your calves. Um, if you wanna have something to reach to just for a little bit of direction. Go for that. Yeah, I don't know why Leo elected to go crazy just as soon as I started filming this. There we have it. He sends his greetings. Few more here. Here's five, four, Three, two, one. I want you to still stay up in that crunch position. If the neck is getting tired, hands behind the nape of the neck, elbows wide. We are going to stay lifted there, and we're just going to march it. So you're going to lift up. Right leg, touch it down. Left leg, touch down. So really focusing on keeping that hollow and making sure that nothing shifts in the hips. So it should be a really seamless, really smooth transition in those little marches. Give me four, three, two, 
two, and one. Good, release everything down for just a second. Hug the knees in, a little shake out, and the knees are gonna come into tabletop. You may have noticed that we didn't do a full 100 in that first set of 100s, we only did 50. So here comes the other half of that. So knees in tabletop, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, lift into that crunch position, tuck the navel in. We're gonna inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Again, inhale. And exhale, squeeze abs tighter. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Couple more breaths. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last one, inhale. And exhale. And then we're gonna do the same thing here, that little lift, release. Not a full release, mind you. So you're still staying engaged, even on the release, but it's that little extra curl, little extra crunch on the lift. It's gonna have you burning. I feel like once spring arrives, Summer is not actually that far off. And go for four, three, two, one. Stay in that crunch. We're gonna do opposite of last time, so it's still a march, but we're going down. So right toes touch, exhale lift. Inhale, left toes touch, exhale lift. Lower back stays pressing down. And I want it to be a slow lift back up. So don't just like bounce it back up. Don't use momentum. You're resisting, you're feeling it pull up from the navel. And give me four, three, two, one, release, hug the knees in. Knees are gonna come right back to tabletop position, so uh, good thing we love that one so much. Knees in tabletop. We're not doing any more hundreds, but we are going to do a crunch, and this time we're gonna add a double leg extension. So I want you to reach arms long overhead, inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna crunch, both legs reach long, hold the position for a second just to show it. Inhale, back down. So exhale, reach, inhale, back down. Same as always, lower back stays in contact with the floor. Do not let it lift. So you can always extend the legs at a slightly higher angle. If you feel like going super crazy hard, you can go a little bit lower. But again, as long as the lower back stays down. That's the, that's the key. Four more here. Here's two, we're gonna hold it on one. Hands behind the nape of the neck, give me a crisscross. So bicycling the legs, shoulder toward opposite knee. Shoulder, not elbow. Elbows are gonna stay nice and wide, so make sure you're never cupping the head. You don't wanna be pulling up the neck. If you want to modify, you could keep head, neck, and shoulders down, and just go with the legs. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug it in. How are the abs feeling? <laughs> warm. They're feeling warm. They're feeling right. We've just got a couple more things in this ab portion of events. And then we're going to switch. We're going to switch. But there will be more abs, don't you worry. So, I want you to curl up into a little egg here. Knees are drawing in. Head, neck, and shoulders are lifted. We're just holding nice and tight there. We're going to open up to a big X. Woo! Like so. Hug it back in. And that, if you hear uh, some interesting noises, that is the sound of my back on the mat. <laughs> Pressing down into the mat. So, yeah. When you do this with no shirt on, no fabric there to like 
create a barrier, some interesting sounds happen. I'm actually just gonna lift my back a little bit. It doesn't mean you should, you should not, you should press it down. I'm just gonna lift my little bit so you don't have to listen to uh, lots of rude noises <laughs> as I do this. <laughs> Give me four, three, two, and one. And then we're gonna bring this all the way up. So full starfish crunch, you're in an X, bam all the way up, gather the feet. Try to not touch the feet to the floor there. You wanna just be able to hold it. We go all the way back down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. Join in. <laughs> if you were hesitating, if you were like, what, what is this insanity? Nope, join in, big X, rock up to the tailbone. You can always continue with that mummified version where you kept the back down if you want to. But I say at least try this one. It's not as bad as it looks, and it's a nice little cardio ab burst. Because this is a fat burning Pilates routine. So like I said, it's gonna have a bit of cardio. Give me three, two, and one. Good, go ahead, release. So yeah, hopefully you were in a bit of a cardio frame of mind when you clicked on this one, or maybe you're getting into it. So we're gonna flip it around here. Come all the way down, all the way down, onto the stomach. So legs are reaching long, arms are also going to be reaching long. We'll think about shoulder distance apart for both of those things, but kind of wherever feels natural and comfortable. So it's probably not going to be cupping it in too close. All right, so engaging the abs and glutes here, reach really, really long, that helps. We're gonna do a single, single double for lifts. So it's gonna be right arm, left leg, lift, touch down. Now left arm, right leg, lift, touch down. Everything, both arms, both legs, release. Again, right arm, left leg, release. <laughs> left arm, right leg, and here he is. <laughs> and both arms, both legs. So one thing to be aware of on this one, often I will see people cheat this one by putting a bend in the knee which makes it look like you're lifting higher. Hey, guess what? You're not actually lifting any higher. It just, it's an optical illusion. So don't put that bend in the knee. Just keep the legs really, really long. Don't worry about the height of the lift. If you're really focusing on extending long, the height will come. I know I'm trying to ignore the fact that Leo is in my face right now. It's not the easiest thing. So your gaze should be straight down in front of you at the mat. Um, <laughs> my face should be in Leo's back right now, which is not ideal. <laughs> All right, got the spur in my mouth. Yeah. Just keep it going here, neck in line with the spine. And again, moving through these slowly so that you're always showing the position. Imagine someone's coming to take a picture of you doing this. You want to hold just long enough that you can get that picture. And we're going to do one more here. So single, single, double. Hold this one. You're going to go narrow, so heels together, hands together. Open up to that X again. So all the way narrow, open to X. All the way narrow, open to X. As you squeeze the legs narrow, bring inner thighs together. So this is another one where I see a little sneaky thing happen where people will bend their legs and just touch up the ankles. That's not it. That's not the move. Keep legs straight, squeeze from the inner thighs. Squeeze together, open. I don't know what Leo is doing right now. Give me four, one, three, Two, one, I'm going to open to just about hip distance and you're going to swim it there. So fluttering arms and legs, nice straight lines there. So again, you're moving from the hips, not the knees. Keep swimming, 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 swimming. And give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release hands on your shoulders, press back to a child's. Pose. <laughs> Leo's just uh, decided he's gonna take over my mat. That's cool. That's cool. 
for you guys who are thinking like, why doesn't she just lock the cats out of her filming area? I can't. <laughs> I actually cannot because we've got like an open floor plan. So the only place I could lock them, I guess I could lock them outside, but it's cold. Or I could lock them in the bedroom, which sounds like a recipe for disaster. So they're here with me. <laughs> Usually they're sleeping. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna get back into a bit of cardio and some triceps. So I want you to come to a modified plank position on the knees here. Hands are underneath shoulders, navel drawn in tight. So we're not ever here. You're gonna give me four tricep press ups. So we're all gonna go with this one right now. So elbows bend back, exhale, press up. Inhale, elbows hug the sides, press up. Here's two, you could go a little lower there if you don't have a cat in front of you. And one, once you've done that last one, I want you to tuck toes under, press up to a high plank. You're gonna jump feet wide, come into a squat all the way up to standing, yeah? Squat back down, hands down, jump feet back, lower the knees, four more tricep presses, that's the move. So here's four, up, three, engaging the abs, two, one. Toes step under, we jump, heels both come down, lift, just like that one we did at the start, but while we were walking it there, now we are jumping it. Knees down, give me four, and three, two, one, toes tuck under, lift up, big burst forward, drop the butt, lift the chest, come up to standing, hands down. So we travel through a full squat, and again, four, three, two, one, toes tuck under, jump. We're gonna do one more after this one. That's it, so not too, not too terrible, I think. Last set here, four, three, two, one. Toes tuck under, last big jump there, make a good one, lift the chest, all the way up, down, hands down, Jump back, knees down. There we go. We're gonna flip it back around again. So we've done kind of a lot of flipping around, but it's good because it keeps everything, keeps the heart rate up, keeps everything moving. This is where you're gonna need to grab your weights. Okay. So come down onto your back. Yes, don't mind me. <laughs> come down onto your back. Feet are gonna be planted, ideally hip distance apart, but you know. When you've got a cat here, sometimes that makes it more difficult. There we go, okay, yay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna bring elbows open in line with the shoulders here, and then wrists are stacked directly over the elbows, palms are facing away from you. We're gonna do a little combo. So you're gonna lift to bridge as you do, chest press, release, back down. So it's an exhale press, Inhale, release tight, squeeze the glutes. Think long line of energy from the fronts of the shoulders through the kneecaps. So we're not lifting from the lower back, we're not arching the back, we're just going for a nice straight line. A little press, release. Squeeze the butt super tight. You could go for a slightly heavier weight here. Um, these are just the weights that I happen to have that work for this. I have like heavier weights that I use for like, more like lifting circuits, but <laughs> they're really clunky and don't really fit into routines so well. But if you've got maybe like two or th three kilo weights, something around that, um, and they can fit in nicely, go for it, why not? It feels Okay, you can maintain the form, yes. Go for three, two, one. I want you to stay up, bring the palms together, and you're just going to reach arms up overhead, bring it back up over the chest. So keep squeezing butt tight, keep that long line of energy, navel is still pinned to spine. I want the glutes to be feeling, maybe a little crampy, definitely burning, but yeah, a little bit of like a 
crampy feeling they get when they're really working hard. You can always squeeze the glutes a little tighter. If you are using a heavier weight here or if the shoulders are a little bit tight, you can do this with a little bit of a bend in the elbows as well. Keep squeezing tight. It's a really good one though for shoulder stabilization. Which is good for a surprising number of things in your daily life. Here's four. Three. Two. <laughs> Hello. And one. You're gonna release the butt back down. Come back to where we started that series. So back into that chest press. We're gonna do that same chest press again with the bridge lift. So press up, release. Hopefully the butt feels a little bit more tired this time. That's what we want. We wanna exhaust it a little bit. And working the glutes, of course, is good for fat burn because it's one of those bigger muscle groups. So it just gets the, gets the oven going. The good old oven. Keep directing knees straight forward as you squeeze and release. It's almost kind of meditative, not gonna lie. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm going into a trance right now. I think it's putting Leo in a trance. It's Probably a good thing. And here's four, three, two. Again, we're gonna hold this last one. Keep the arms reaching and you're just gonna pulse the butt. So a little squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Full squeeze, little release is what it is. So I'm just barely releasing. Really full squeeze, hold that squeeze for a second. Again, like someone's taking a picture of you. Show the position, pose for the photo before you release. The really, really tight squeezes of the butt. Keep it strong, keep it going. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, whoop, release the butt down. Extend both legs out long. Uh, give it a little, give it a little shake out. All right, we're just, we're just about there. So you're gonna hold on to those weights. So we're back in the abs. This is gonna be our final series. Um, yeah, and it's all about, it's all about core. So legs reaching long. I want you to keep the weights in close toward your shoulders here. So palms are going to be facing in toward each other. You're going to keep those weights in as close as you can. Take a roll up. So it does create a little extra resistance. Shoulder press at the top. Bring it back in. Slow release. Back down. Again, full roll up. Press up overhead. So that should be a straight line as you press up overhead. You don't want to either be rounding the back well, in either direction. So you don't want to be pressing the chest too far forward, creating a hollow back, nor do you want to have like a hunched over back. It's just perfectly straight. So a nice right angle at the hips. And again, my back is making noises on the mat. This has been a workout full of distractions. We're gonna do Four more here. So yeah, your back should touch fully down. If you're looking at me, I am lifting mine a little bit, but that's basically just again, so you don't have to listen to my back making noises on the mat. But yours should be touching down. One more here. And if you are using heavier weights, Probably shoulders are getting pretty tired. Last one there, go ahead and stay up. So legs are still extended long here. 
We're gonna be in a seated position. I want you to bring elbows into the side, inside elbows facing forward, palms up toward the ceiling. Take a little mini tilt back. So as you're tilting there, again, you don't wanna be rounding there. You wanna stay really nice and long. We're gonna do a bicep curl. Right knee comes in, hold, release, other side. Tuck in, hold, release. Tuck in, hold, release. Tuck, release. Tuck, release. Really control with the release as well as the tuck for four, three, two, squeeze in the lower abs, and one. Good. From there, we're going to elevate the legs. So in terms of well, what the arms are doing, you're just gonna hold the weights together here for a little extra resistance. So I can be just in front of the chest. You're in a half out position. We're gonna reach out and tuck in. Yeah, here we go. Reach out, tuck in. So think chest and knees coming to the same level. Lead with the chest rather than the shoulders. That little bit of resistance does make a difference. So if that's too much, just put the weights down. Keep going without them. There are ways. Here's four, three, two, last one. We're gonna hold it here. Weights still together. I want you to take a little twist side to side. So you're not moving from the shoulders. That's not the motion. It is from the middle. So weights stay in front of the chest, or if you're not using weights, hands. Hands stay in front of the chest, elbows wide. And give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. Okay, quick little stretch there for the hips. So soles of feet together, knees are open wide. Uh, give them a little wiggle out. Opportunity to put down the weights if you had them that whole time. Shake out the wrists, shake out the shoulders. All we're gonna do. Last thing, I know I said this was the last thing, but it is the last thing. We're just gonna do one more round of it. That's it. <laughs> so back into those roll-ups. Legs out long, weights in toward the shoulders or no weights at all. Inhale, on the exhale, lift it up. Shoulder press, down, roll back. So yeah, notice I did say weights close to the shoulders for rolling up, because that's what's gonna create the resistance. Weights are a really fun tool for roll-ups because depending on where you hold them, it can actually make a standard non-weighted roll-up easier or more difficult. So for training purposes, if you have a really hard time rolling up without using a ton of momentum, you can hold a weight a little bit farther out away from you and it'll just give you a little assist. But when the weights are in tight toward you, it adds all that resistance and just makes it a bit harder. So we're going for the harder version because this is a fat burning routine. It's a spring fat burning routine and we're celebrating spring being here and yeah, we want to go hard. That's why. We got two more here. Really slowing that release as well, controlling that. And last one, and we get to stay up in seated at the top. So legs again are long here, palms up toward the ceiling, elbows pointing forward, elbows tight to the side, a little tilt back here. We're gonna bicep curl, right leg comes in, release. Left leg, release. So really important that you're keeping a long spine there or you are not gonna feel the abs at all. So keep a long spine, reach long through the crown of the head. Make sure that you are actively squeezing the lower abs to draw that knee in. For four, three, two, one. Good. You know what happens, we finish with those half boats. So if you're using the weights, weights together in front of the chest. Lift into your half boat, keep the chest lifted. We extend long, tuck in. Inhale long, exhale, tuck in. Keep 
keep it going. Big energy here, all the way to the finish. Here's four, three, two, one. Keep it there. Last set of those twists. So twist, twist. Keep chest lifted. Weights in front of the chest. Chin lifted as well for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, Woo! and release. Weights can go down. They can like actually go down. Again, bring the soles of feet together. Knees open nice and wide and grab onto the feet there. Feet or ankles, sit nice and tall. Maybe take a little rock. Side to side. Press forward into it, keeping a long spine there. Oh, these feel marvelous for the hips. Marvelous, marvelous. All right, and we'll give everything a nice little stretch out. So go ahead, flip over onto hands and knees. We're gonna start with a pigeon. So walking the knees back a little bit. We'll start with the right side. So right knee is gonna come in toward the right thumb. So beginners, you can start with the right heel kind of near that left hip bone. If you are a little bit more flexible, you can walk that right heel forward, go a little bit more parallel to the front of your mat. But now here's the trick. We're not just going to come down because often what happens is people will go off to one side and the hips are not square. We're going to square the hips first. So I want you to take the hands to the hips. You're going to square them yourself. Yeah. So feel into it. Bring them square. Probably now that you're lifted up, there probably is a little space there, right? That's fine. We're squaring it up, staying nice and long. Great if you can do this in front of a mirror. Once you've found that, Come straight forward from there, so don't come on an angle, just come straight forward and lower it down. So it's gonna be a little bit of a pullback of the right hip because probably it's gonna to wanna to go forward. So actively retract that right hip blade, uh, hip, hip blade, what? <laughs> retract the right hip a little bit, soften the shoulders, and don't worry about, the, about there being a little bit of a gap between you and the mat. Go ahead and press it back up, stay on that side. Option, if the knee feels okay, put a bend in the left knee, reach left hand around, grab onto the foot, pull it in. It's a nice quad stretch. Very nice one. And go ahead, release. Step that foot back. We'll just switch legs here. So left knee comes in toward the left thumb. Again, you can start out with the left heel near that right hip bone. This is my harder side. So. For squaring up the hips, I find this a lot harder on this side, but that's why it's important to do it. So lift up, whoop, do a little adjust. Maybe you lift up a little higher, like I did. So make sure hips are on the same level. So you might need to drop one to one side. You might need to press one forward. It's really about you feeling into it, which again, if you can do this in front of beer, it's a little bit easier, but you know. Again, once you've found that, come straight forward. So keeping long line in the torso, both sides equally long, so you're not cutting off either side of the body. Reach it forward. Take this opportunity to pull a little cat hair out of my eye. <sighs> We're off to such a good start! And then Leo burst onto the scene, as he loves to do. Okay, press it back up. Again, if the right knee feels okay, put the bend in that knee, reach right hand around, and pull the butt, staying low there. And go ahead and release. Press up out of it. Just go ahead and sit back on the heels here for a second. Touch the right hand down to the floor. Inhale, reach left arm up and over. And other side, so left hand down. Right arm reaches up and over, pressing that right shoulder back behind you. Nice side body stretch. We'll twist it as well. So uh, left hand comes to the outside of right knee, right arm behind. If you want, you can do the bind there so that right arm would just snake its way around to the left hip bone. I love that one for the fronts of the shoulders. Up to you though. And other side. So again, just snaking the arm around, keeping chest lifted. Nice and tall there. 
Come back through center, press both arms back, and reach forward, tucking navel in, chin to chest like you're grabbing a big ball. Open out again, and there we go. That's us done. So that's our nice welcome spring fat burning Pilates routine. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of cardio in there, got a good little burn in, enjoyed the use of the weights, a few new things. So if you did enjoy that one, of course, let me know by hitting that like button down below. Um, and while you're down there, make sure that you are hitting subscribe so that you can come back and see lots of other routines that I'll be doing in the lead up to spring, summer. And of course, if you have any particular workouts that you would like to see, let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys back here in the next one. Bye.